Campbell, my character is Walter, my mother is Danielle Etheridge, and um, I'll just say a little bit about the, um, the play the story. Um, my, dad, my dad died, and we have an insurance check, and the family's not sure what to do with the money, so we have just this major problem that's about to split the family. And this is a particular scene with my mother. Nothing the matter with me. Oh, yes, there is something wrong with you. It's like something's eating you up inside like a crazy man. Something more than me not giving you this money. Past couple of years I've been watching what's happened to you. It's like you get all nervous and wild with me now. I said sit down now. I am talking to you. Mama, I don't need no nagging at you today. It seems like you're always in the night about something. And if somebody tries to talk to you about anything, you just yell at them. And then you go out and you go get drunk somewhere. Now, watch you, Lee, that's not a way for anyone to live. Ruth is a good, patient girl in her own way. Boy, don't make the mistake of driving that girl away from you. What? What'd she do for me? She loves you. Mama, I'm going out somewhere to be by myself for a while. It's dangerous, son. What's dangerous? When a man goes outside of his own home to look for peace. Then why can't there ever be any peace in this one? You've done no, no, there ain't no other woman. How come women always think there's another woman somewhere when a man gets restless? Mama, I want so many things. I want so many things so it's driving me kind of crazy. Mama, look at me! I'm looking at you. You're a good-looking boy. You have a good job, a nice wife, a fine boy. A job? A job? I open and I close doors for a man. I drive around his limousine and I say to him, yes, sir, no, sir, very well, sir. Shall I take the drive, sir? Mama, that's no job. That's no kind of job at all. I don't know if I can make you understand. Understand what thing? Sometimes it's like I can see my future right in front of me, Mama. The future just stretched out in front of me just as plain as day. Nothing. Just a big blank looming space full of nothing. Mama, sometimes when I'm downtown, and I've had those cool, quiet looking places. And I've had those restaurants where the white boys are sitting back talking about things, turning over deals worth millions of dollars. Sometimes I see guys no older than me. Why do you talk so much about money? Because it's life, Mama. Oh. Oh. So now, money is life. Well, what's the point of time freedom with life? But no, it's not. I guess the world really do change. No, no, no. It was always money, Mama. We just didn't know about it. No. Something has changed. Here's something you want. You just don't understand. In my day, we were worried about getting to the north and not being lynched. <laughs> and getting out of the pinch of dignity, too. But now, here comes you and Benita talking about things me and your daddy never understood. I mean, you're not proud of that, but nothing we've done for you. The fact that, that you had a good home, that, that you didn't have to worry about anything until you were grown, and to the fact that you don't have to run the back of no man's streetcar to get to work when you had to. I guess the world really just do change. You might show me. But how different we've done come. Mama, you just don't understand. You just don't understand. Walter Lee, do you know that your wife is expecting another baby? Now, I know this ain't for me to tell And I know she needs to tell you, but I think that Ruth is just not getting rid of that baby. No. No, Ruth wouldn't do that. No. When the world gets ugly enough, son, a woman will do anything for her family. The part that's living. Mama, you don't know Ruth. You think she'd do something like that? No. Well, son, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear you talk like your daddy used to talk. To stand like your daddy used to talk. I'm waiting to hear you say, oh, well, I've already given up one child's apartment, and I ain't going to give up another one. I'm waiting to hear you stand up like your daddy and say, well, we used to give, we used to give, take children away, but now we're here to give them life. Well, son, I'm waiting. 